these clowns who are saying that electric cars are bad and they will kill people. Seriously, I'm hearing this still. It's mental. One thing they forget is that a very large percentage of electric car owners have solar and they use that solar to charge their EV and to run their house. So the carbon that they're using is significantly less than most others who don't own an EV. But the thing is, all of this is constantly changing. The goalposts are moving constantly. EV adoption is soaring in Australia massively, even in Europe and in many other countries around the world. It is doing something that I predicted on this channel now ever since I started it. It is eating coal alive. Billions and billions of dollars will be lost by the idiots who built coal power stations within the last few years when they should have known better. All they had to do was look at the economics, which didn't make sense then, and they certainly do not make any more sense now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Great to see you. Happy New Year. Let's have an amazing 2023. You know what? You don't even have to, we don't even have to say that because it's going to be an insane year. It's going to be amazing. Rooftop solar, wind generation, battery storage, sodium ion batteries, lithium ion phosphate battery packs coming from Tesla's Lathrop facility, coming from BYD, coming from CATL. They are going to transform the energy industry. They're going to transform the world. All of this is going to come together in one big storm to stick a knife, a dagger, right into the hearts of fossil fuel, right into the hearts of big oil. And you might not think it's going to happen because it grows like the grass. But I can tell you that grass is going to be watered pretty damn hard over the next 12 months. And it is going to grow like it's never, ever grown before. Here in Australia, rooftop solar is eating coal and gas markets in every single state. Really? The fundamentals of the Australian electricity market have been turned on their head, say renewaconomy.com. Not by climate targets or by the increase in large scale wind and solar, but by huge amounts of rooftop solar being put on the roofs of homes and businesses everywhere across the country. Now, believe it or not, it's also happening like this in Europe. Europe doesn't have a whole lot of sun. I mean, it's amazing, but it's happening. The uptake of rooftop solar means that peak demand is not the only issue confronting the Australian energy market operator and regulators and coal power plants and gas power plants. It is the growing impact of minimum demand when rooftop solar soaks up an increasing amount of the market once reserved for coal and gas generators. Now here's the thing, it's actually worse than you think because there's companies like Tesla, not just Tesla, but other companies as well, who are going after pika plants. Now, pika plants is where they really make big dollar. They're the plant plants that kick in when there's not enough energy in the, in the actual grid. They kick in and they charge like 70 times more than the normal energy price. That's the average, that's the average extra they price, charge. They, that's the average extra price they charge. Now, this is awesome because it's great for battery companies. Tesla have said, as long as the cost of pika plants remains at these insane costs, which it has for many, many years, in fact, decades, then it's easy for these companies to make profit selling battery storage because battery storage is a virtual picket plant. In fact, it's much more efficient. It kicks in much quicker than an old school gas or coal picker plant. In other words, they're being disrupted not just by solar, but enormously their profits are declining as a result of battery energy storage. On Monday, about two weeks ago, Renew Economy stated, stated that rooftop solar had taken a bigger bite out of the Christmas lunch of Victoria's brown coal. By the way, brown coal was the worst, most polluting coal generators, sending that state to a new minimum demand level, less than half the capacity of the remaining coal plants. You know what that means? For these coal plants to make any profit, they have to be running at a minimum 70%. 70% operation, right? They're not. They're way below that. In other words, they are burning money. Remember when Elon Musk said uh, the Gigafactory in Germany is burning money? Well, these guys are burning money even faster. But there's no hope for them. It's like burning money into a furnace. It's never going to bring you money back. Like at least a Gigafactory in the future, you think I'm going to make profits out of this. It's taking ages, costing a lot of money. But in five years, we're going to make a profit. 
You cannot say the same about these coal power plants. In five years, they're probably going to be shut down. I mean, all of them will be shut down by 2035 in Australia at the latest. So what do these people do? Do you just do you just go, okay, enough's enough and sell? I don't know. AEMO has followed that notification with a graph highlighting how minimum demand levels have been set in all mainland states this spring and early summer, eating into what was once the profit centers of the fossil fuel industry. Eating into what was once the profit centers of the fossil fuel industry, which is on its last legs. Now, I don't care if you're a naysayer and you're going to disagree with me, and you're going to disagree with me on this. There's always people that do. Ever since I've been making videos about this, there's people been disagreeing with me. And guess what? They don't like facts. They don't. They don't like facts. What I'm telling you now are the facts. I didn't make them up. They've been provided by reliable sources. This is a good thing. Although it does present challenges for the market operator, Mm, sort of. WIS has to ensure there are dispatchable generators and loads to help it manage the grid if a major contingency emerges, such as a storm or power plant or factory failure. So what I suggest to you is get solar yourself. You don't have to worry about the grid. Get a battery yourself. You don't have to worry about the grid. That's a solution. In South Australia, for instance, rooftop solar has provided up to 92% of local demand when the record low of 100 megawatts of minimum demand was set in October this year. In fact, in South Australia, they used only solar energy for 11 days. I think it was 12 days straight. Crazy. That's one of the key reasons that the Australian electricity operator is looking to upgrade inverter ratings in all states, giving it the power to manage and orchestrate distributed energy resources, which also include household batteries and electric vehicles. Now, the experiment we've just had in South Australia shows you you can. Large population centers can rely on only renewables. People said this for years. It can't work. It can't work. The grid can't work with only renewables. There's, there's all these reasons why. No. Wrong. You've been proven wrong categorically by what we've just seen in South Australia. Look it up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see what I mean. My friends, there's one thing going on. Fossil fuels are dying. Renewable energies, Renewable energy and electric cars are killing them. They're killing them faster than any other point in human history. And that is the best news of the year, of 2022. That is the news we should focus on. The world is in fact becoming a better place. The news, the news are categorically wrong. They are false, they're fake news, as even Donald Trump himself said. The man was crazy, but he was right about one thing. The media lies. They don't intend to necessarily, maybe, maybe they do, but they lie constantly. The truth is, the planet is improving. It's happening slowly, so sometimes you won't notice. And if you listen to the news, you'll think everything is going to hell in a handbasket, and everything's gonna, we're gonna burn to death within the next 20 years. But I can tell you now, the path we're on is one of great positivity, renewable energy, and EVs can solve so many problems and it can leave the world in a better place than what we found it. That is happening. It's happening quickly at a faster rate than ever in history. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.